Hello. This is sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm just trying to hang in there. That's all I can say right now. Just trying to hang in there. Still on the grind. Um, I want to talk about, um, I've been watching, I watch a lot of other videos on YouTube, and I've seen some videos on here about, I've seen quite a few on here about black men bashing black women, and um, it's interesting because it's this one particular person that I want to talk about, and his name is uh, Tommy Sotomayor. Um, I know a lot of people are familiar with him because he has a whole lot of subscribers. He has like thousands of subscribers, and um, he has a he also I think he also he has several channels here on YouTube, and I think he also has a radio. He does an online radio program as well, and I think this this man is uh, you know unfortunately controversy sells and. His videos are very controversial um, here on YouTube, and I'm sure he's getting paid lots of money to do them. And because he, the main thing, his main, his main mo is bashing black women. He just loves to bash black women. I mean, he, he, I mean, every time he, um, I won't say every time. He, he he claims to be passionate about talking about things that's going on in the black community. You know, he claims to be passionate about, and 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 I'm all for that because I like to talk about. I'm I'm really concerned about issues that are going on in the black community as well. But um, he claims to be passionate on what's going on in the black black community, but in turn, you know, um, yeah, boy. he black he bashes black women in the process. And he blames everything going on in the black community on the black woman. Everything is the black woman's yeah, fault. And um, it's just, it's just, it just amazes me. I'm, I'm not subscribed to him, but I think it's just really interesting. I look at his videos, um, and I think it's really interesting because, you know, he talks about black women wearing weaves. He seems to be obsessed with yeah. black women wearing weaves. Um, he seems to be obsessed with that. And it really amazes me. He calls black women hair headed hooligans. And you know, he, he puts people sends them these videos of black women certain black women doing um heinous things, you know. And then he what what bothers me, this is what bothers me more than anything, is that he when he talks about these women doing these specific heinous things, he, he he says, he tries to say that all black women are like that. And I think that's the thing that bothers all the, a lot of black women. He gets a lot of threats and, you know, he gets a lot of bad press. And um, believe it or not, he, he gets responses from angry black men because, you know, you got black men out there that love black women. And believe it or not, he gets responses from angry black, some angry black men, because not all black men share his views. And um, he he just gets on there, and and I, I I I mean I get it, I get it that there are black women out there that are what they would call ratchet, and they do certain things, and you know. But you have the thing is, so you have bad people in all races. You have bad people in all. I mean, you, if, if there's bad people doing terrible, horrible things in all races, it's not just black women, you know. So the thing is, um, he just, you know, he likes to when he talks about these women doing these specific things, he likes to say all black women, you know. And he then he swears up and down that he's not saying uh, all black women, but what he says is black women. See, black women da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. See? And what I pointed out to him um, making a comment to him, what I pointed out to him is 
you have to understand that the word black women is plural. So when you when you say you don't say some, he hardly ever puts some in in front of it. He he usually says like when he talks about let's say for example, he you know he shows a video on a black woman. He showed this one video on this black woman that that shot the drive through. <laughs> Shot the, it was kind of funny actually. She shot the drive through. No one got hurt, but she shot the drive through up because she was mad about her order. Then he, you know, he goes on to talk about see black women such and such and such and such and and see that's this is what bothers a lot of people. So I I I, I tried to clarify to him that you know black women the word black women is plural. Little basic English lesson there. Um, black woman is singular. So if he say, well, see, this black woman is does A, B, and C, and this is ratchet, and etc., etc., etc. Then we know that he's talking about this specific black woman. But when he talks about these black women, he says black women as if to suggest that he's talking about all black women in general. And so this is the problem that a lot of people are having with him, in, including myself. Um, he, you know, is that he seems to really, really, really be stereotypical towards black women. He seems to have a, a inner hatred towards black women. I don't know if it has something to do with his childhood. Maybe something happened with his mother. And then see, he hates that. He hates it when you bring up his mother, you know. But it all, but it it does in fact stem from, you know, um, his mother. I mean, you know, you your mother is the first woman when you're a male. Your mother is the first woman in your life. So whatever she does, is kind of going to impact. So whatever the relationship or lack thereof relationship that you have with your mom as a as a male, is going to kind of impact your feelings on women later in life. Same thing with a girl. With her father, if she, depending on the type of relationship she has with her dad or lack thereof, that is going to shape her views of men after that because your father is the first man in your life. So, I mean, it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not rocket science, you know. <laughs> and so he gets mad when people bring up his mom and say, "Well, it's because your mom, you know, what about your mother?" See, people, he gets mad when people say that, but. It, it 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 is in fact it there is it is a factor involved in that, and um um you know the relationship with his that he's had with his mom has to come into question as to why he um has such a seems to appear to have such a hatred towards black women because he does in fact appear to have a a kind of a hatred towards black women. And so, I mean, I mean, and, and it's like this man, we can't do nothing right in his eyes. I mean, he has, he talks about our hair, you know, he talks about black women wearing, he seems to be obsessed with black women wearing weeds, you know. And, you know, he's, he's obsessed with that, you know. He calls black women hair-headed hooligans and, and, and um, I just, most of the time, I just laugh at him, you know. I mean, it's more or less entertainment for me because. But at the same time, I kind of study him too, and kind of you know think, okay, what's I, I I like to analyze sometimes, and I kind of think, okay, what's going on with this man that's causing him to have this kind of hatred towards black women, and so it it, it I I think it 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 does in fact have to stem from his relationship with his mom, um, because I think you know he brought his mom up a couple of times. And um, the, the couple times that he talked about his mom, it wasn't anything positive, you know. And so um, it has something. It does, in fact, have something to do with his relationship with his mom. Um, he doesn't like to hear that. He doesn't like to say that. He doesn't like for anyone to say that. But it's not rocket science, you know. Your mom is the first woman in your life when you're a male. So, like I said, the relationship that you have with her is going to determine your views on women after that. Women of the same race, women that remind you of your mom. And so, but the, the theory that, um, I try to 
you know, rationalize with him sometimes when I comment. Because I'm like, okay, you know, unless he has, he says, well, black women are this and black women are that and, you know, black women are ratchet and this and that and the other. Um, and I'm, I'm like, you don't know all the black women in this, in this country. I'm like, all black women are not the way you saying here. That is, and he talks about a Pacific black woman, woman, like he showed this video on this black woman twerking in front of her son. Her son was uh, rapping, and she was twerking. It was, it was quite, you know, disgusting on her part. Um, she, um, I agree that the, you know, the woman had, you know, her parenting skills could probably come into question because you know this was a young child and she was twerking in front of him and he was rapping about had him rapping about it and so she had her butt all in the it was it was terrible I, 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 I admit it was terrible and I agree with, with that one but the thing is when he talks about that particular black woman doing that particular thing he says black women he's, he'll say now see black women da 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 and so so when you say black woman, then women, then you're including me and every other black woman in this country. Uh, you're, you're saying that we do things like that. Uh, I, I don't get on YouTube and twerk in front of my son and have him rapping about it. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I've never, there's never any history of me doing anything like that on the internet because I don't do that. I don't conduct myself that way. So. Um, you, my subscribers, you've seen my videos. You've never seen anything derogatory or anything in my videos, because I'm not. I'm a Christian and I don't do that. So, see, that's the thing. You know, uh, he that, that's what that's what he says. He says black women. You see, this is what bothers me, and it bothers a lot of. He doesn't understand that, and this is what why a lot of black women get angry with him because, you know, and then he comes on there, and I, which I don't condone violence. I don't condone making threats against someone. I don't condone, you know, he has a daughter and people make threats against her. I don't condone that. I don't think people should do that because they should leave his family. I love it. His family has nothing to do with it. And I don't condone making threats against anybody. I think that, you know, um, everybody has, he has the, at the end of the day, he has the right to his views. Uh, if YouTube is on here for everybody to come on here and express their own opinions. And, he does, in fact, have the right to come on YouTube and say whatever he wants to say. And, and he makes a valid point, which is absolutely true, that if you, don't, you have a problem with what he's saying, then you, you need to just not watch it, you know. Me, I find it entertaining, you know. And like I said, I try to analyze, you know, him and try to get into the psychology of why he likes to, to bash black women all the time and and um, part of talking about the issues in the black community is talking about everything that's going on, not just with black women, but with black men as well. We all know that um, a lot of the black men in the black community have issues as well. But see, he also blames that on the black women. <laughs> see, everything that goes on in the black community, he likes to blame the black women for. So what he doesn't understand is if you go back to the Bible, it, the Bible clearly states that the man is the head, you know, Jehovah God instituted the man ahead of the woman. So uh, if, you go, if he would go back and read his Bible, he would find out that the man is supposed to be head of, head of the woman. And so um, if, if the man, the black man is actually supposed to be heading the black community. So um, actually it, 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 it uh, basically falls back on the males. Because the the man is supposed to be the head, you know. The woman, we're not supposed to be the head of anything, you know. Um, and and yes, something is going to be lacking when the when the headship falls falls. When you understand the headship um, arrangement that God instituted, then um, spiritually, you know, from a biblical standpoint, then it, when the headship arrangement in a particular community falls apart then that whole community is going to in fact break down because there's no headship and and so 
to um, try to prove the theory that black women are supposed to <laughs> be running everything and we're supposed to hold the black community down and we're supposed to make sure all the children are in check and all that and when that stuff doesn't happen then it's all our fault. Though well, that doesn't make any sense because if you go back to like I said the biblical principle um, God instituted Jehovah God instituted the man being the head. You know, he created man first and then he, he put he pre he created Adam, he put Adam to sleep, took his rib and created Eve. So he he never instituted us to be the head of anything. If anything the Bible says that we're supposed to be in subjection to to man. To to man. And so if if the black community is falling apart, um it, it does in fact fall black back on the black male, the black men that's in that community because they're supposed to make sure that the children you know are in check you know um, a lot of times like I say black women we have to raise the children on our own and a lot of times we have to go to work and you know hold down the fort pay bills and hold you know try to hold down the fort and try to um, you know hold down everything in the household plus on top of that try to raise the children and 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 that's not the natural order of things. We're not supposed to be doing all that. You know that's why Jehovah God instituted uh, uh, father and mother because the father has certain roles and mom has certain roles. And so um, when you have to go to work and and all that and 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 try to do everything, you know, try to fulfill both roles of of mother and father, you know something's going to be lacking. Now I'm not saying that there's now uh, there there's uh, there is in fact black women in the black community that definitely are dropping the ball. You know they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and they're not um, keeping their household at least not even they're not even attempting to keep their household in order like they're supposed to. Of course, I mean that's a given. But um, you know that is not representative of all black women in the black community. Because, you know, you do got some black women like myself and a lot of other black women that are doing everything we can to raise our children the best of our abilities and to hold down our household and, and maintain our homes and everything like we're supposed to be doing. And we do the best we can. And that's all we can do with having to work and to try to fulfill, constantly trying to fulfill both roles. It's very difficult. And so... Uh, for him to say that all black women, this and that and the other, is, 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 is unless he has some scientific statistical data that can show that all black women are this particular way, then he's and it's, he's talking in ignorance, you know. And then he says he claims that. Well, I'm not saying all black women, but what he what what what, what happens is when he talks about he'll show a video of a, a clip of a black woman doing certain things. Um, and he'll say, well, see, black women, da 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 see, so, see, so that's where people get upset, because you're saying black women, black women is plural, <laughs> so, and, I, and every time I watch a video, I'll be like, see, there you go again, saying black women, and so, that's the thing, you know, that's something that, you know, I guess he has to work on, and I think, you know, in my mind, in my opinion, he is being stereotypical, you know, so I mean, I, I think that there is some. He seems to have some deep-seated hatred towards black women, and and um, it, it doesn't. You know, it, 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 a, a blind man can see that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, uh, and I think he's he's also profiting off of that. You know, he he said in one of his videos that he wasn't making a profit off of black women, and I told him, oh yes, you are. You're getting paid to come on here and bash black women, and he got he has a lot of subscribers. He gets a lot of hits on his videos because controversy sells, you know. So it's it's really bad. It's really sad because um, we have to go through as as a people. We have to go through a lot of racism, but it's sad that we have to endure it through a lot of people in our own community. We have to instead of us 
There's nothing wrong with talking about issues in the black community. I like to talk about issues in the black community, but you don't have to put down a whole race of women or a whole race of, race of men to do that. You know, you could talk about the issues that's going on in the black community and talk about those particular people that are doing those particular things without putting down the whole race, you know, because that's not, they're just making it sound like you hate your own people, you know. So, I mean, I just, I just hope that he could see that one day. I just hope that he could come to that and realize that not all black women are a certain way. And as far as black women wearing weaves, I don't see anything wrong with I wear them myself, you know. Uh, I also wear my hair natural. Like I, I, I stated in one of my other videos, I do whatever makes me feel good. If I feel like going natural, I go natural. I feel like wearing, it's not about self-hatred. It's not about, I, I wish black men would get past that. It's, it's, it's not about hating yourself or whatever. It's about you know, being a woman and just want to change up and wear something cute and different or whatever, you know. So, that's what I was just, I might uh, talk about him, I might go further into talking about him some more. Because I just really think it's interesting, his views are really interesting, you know, how he views, how he sees the world and how he views black women. So, that's what I just wanted to talk about. Um, I'll be coming back at you um, with some more videos and to also uh, once again I'd like to thank my subscribers for uh, supporting me and listening to my videos. See you later sweet June 2010.